In the most recent beta and preview, the developers made some changes to the breeze. You can no longer attack and do damage to them with snowballs, eggs, tridents, regular bows, even crossbows. They just do not do any damage to this anymore. In fact, the projectile now bounces back towards you. Now, this question was asked in the comment section saying, can it deflect a firework rocket from a crossbow if you shoot it at the ground? That's a very good question. Let's test this game theory. Now, as you guys know, firework rockets, if you shoot them at specific mobs, can be incredibly <laughs> deadly. So what I can tell you here is that if you stand above the breeze and shoot this at the floor, the answer is yes. So for example, if you managed to successfully trap this mob inside of here and you wanted to just kill it this way, yeah, you can currently do that. So there is an alternative way around this. You might not be able to use projectiles such as snowballs and stuff, but explosive fireworks, they work. An update regarding shaders. Smokey Stacks tweeted this on the 4th of January. Render a folder got updated. We may be able to configure reflections in hashtag Minecraft 1.20.70. For those of you wondering, this is in regards to shaders. One thing pack creators have not yet been able to edit is the water. It's defaulted. And it looks like this. And it's actually not that pretty. Now, a couple of reflections have been added here and there. But it's nowhere near up to standard compared to Java or, in fact, RTX. So it looks like in the next beta and preview versions, we should have the ability to edit this. Minecraft PlayStation players, I bring you some very good news. Now, this is in regards to the preview being playable on PlayStation platforms. Smokey Stacks tweeted this after the most recent beta and preview. He said, new command coming soon to realms, it seems. And it seems like hashtag Minecraft preview is coming soon to PlayStation 4. Here are the lines of code that he has discovered. Basically, this is indicating that a preview toggle button will be coming to Minecraft PlayStation 4. Now, I'll be very surprised if they introduce this to PlayStation 4 and not PlayStation 5. It's more than likely going to be both versions. Now, this is very good for a couple of reasons. And the reasons are, if you're a PlayStation player, it must be incredibly frustrating seeing iOS, Android, Windows, and Xbox players test all of these 1.21 features. Ever since Minecraft was available on PlayStation, they've kind of always been left in the dark. Well, that's not going to be the case anymore. However, even bigger news here, I think that this is going to be the first step that PlayStation will also have the ability to test shaders. Now, shaders, as we're making this video, is currently available for players on Windows, Android, and Xbox. It's incredibly difficult to get on Xbox. You kind of have to jump through hoops in order to download it, or join somebody else who has shaders on an Android world or a Windows world. I think that's not how it's going to work when it is officially released. I think shaders will be downloadable via the store or they'll be purchasable via the marketplace. Hopefully there's going to be free ways to do it as well. But this is very good news for PlayStation players. So last month, I released this video, which was basically test early the Minecraft preview on PlayStation 4. The developers made a very big mistake and what they did is on the frequently asked questions section regarding the Minecraft beta and preview, they also included the PlayStation version. Now, after I released that video, they quickly deleted anything regarding PlayStation. They must have just updated the article and forgot to hide it from the public eye. Don't worry, we did see it. Now, obviously, a couple of weeks have passed. We've had Christmas and New Year. And the developers really want to get PlayStation players testing the features early. But besides that, massive shout out to Nick MC. He tweeted this saying, apparently, hashtag Minecraft preview has been published on the PS4 store with a screenshot present in the socials. Seems like the PlayStation preview will be playable soon for players. And he shared this image. Now, of course, always take this with a pinch of salt. I don't know how true this is. I tried to locate it on the PS4 store, 
highly likely being updated and hidden if it is true. But again, this could be testable and playable as early as next week. And with them updating it within the last 24 hours, again, it's quite possible we could see an update next week for Minecraft players. In terms of how this works, I'm expecting it to work the same way as it does on Xbox. If you own Minecraft Bedrock Edition on your Xbox, you are eligible to download the Minecraft preview for completely free. It's not the same version. It's a completely separate app, so you don't have to join beta back out and stuff like that. It gets really confusing when they do that. So you'll have two versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. One will be the base game and one will be the preview. But I'll keep you all updated with this story. I think 2024 is going to be a very big year for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Have a wonderful day.